So why should you take scurvy dogs? They die quickly, and they can't win an even fight. But they can be pretty effective when the fight tips in their favor. One such example is when they can chase routing units. No other unit in the Vampire Coast roster can do this as effectively as scurvy dogs. They'll kill infantry quickly, which frees them up to do other tasks. And for faster units such as cavalry, your dogs will be able to chase them off the map. Now with the basics out of the way, let's go into some special tactics. Oftentimes, you'll see cheap melee units rushing in to engage your guns. But because they are cheap, they can be easily routed off by charging them in the back. Notice the timing freed up my guns as soon as possible. Here we combine terror with our dogs to bring archers from nearly full morale to routing. As you can see, the dogs take down a third of the leadership, the dragon takes down another, and terror takes care of the rest. Using artillery with your scurvy dogs will have a similar effect. Here we get to see the versatility of bringing multiple scurvy dogs. One runs down one group of archers, and the other routes the second group of archers. Finally, I'd like to emphasize how important it is to keep your scurvy dogs alive. Here we have a late game situation against some wood elves with two groups of way watchers at almost full ammo. This is a pretty common situation you'll find yourself in, where archers rally in the late game and pose a large threat. On the right side, I have two scurvy dogs, Noctilus with about one shot left, deck gunners with no ammo, and four mortars which are nearly out of ammo. If I hadn't kept my dog safe till now, this would have been a loss for me. So let's see how they contribute to a victory. First, they run down a hero that would have been a threat to Noctilus, and because there is no cavalry, the dogs have nothing to worry about and they're able to clear off a few hundred gold off of my opponent's forces. Next, we see my opponent advancing with his Way Watchers. If he gets even a few volleys off on Noctilus, I won't have anything to deal with his heroes. A volley of arrows goes off towards my dogs here, but it's easy enough to dodge them with almost no damage. Once my opponent attacks my mortars, I'm able to charge his infantry in the back, breaking them instantly, taking basically no damage on my dogs. Once again, I can do this because in the late game, there are very few threats to scurvy dogs. We also see here why mortars in the late game aren't as useful. With so few units to micro, my opponent can easily dodge the mortar shots. Coming up is the final engagement. My scurvy dogs rush in but are netted. Luckily for me, I have a second group coming in and the netted group doesn't die from the first volley of Waywatcher fire. I prepare to dodge the second volley of arrows with my moving dogs, but the Waywatchers fire at the netted ones. Now the fate of the Waywatchers are sealed. My dogs collapse in on top of them, pinning them down so my mortars can finally land their shots which causes them to rout. At this point, the dogs are able to chase off the routing way watchers, and it's just the Wood Elf Lord now. My opponent knows that they can't beat Noctilus and victory. A game won by Scurvy Dogs. If you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe and also check me out on Twitch, where I stream multiplayer games and sometimes campaign. Information can be found in the description.